Hi, my name is Jacob Bradshaw. I'm a sales engineer with Innovative IDM here in the Dallas branch. For this month, SMC's product of the month is grippers. Now, SMC offers both pneumatic and electric grippers, and I thought this would be a great chance for me to show you a couple. So let's get into it. All right, so to start off, we'll look at this electric gripper board I have here. We're gonna start right in the middle with the LEHZ. Now this is probably the most common type of gripper we see. It's a vertically oriented, two finger parallel type gripper. Now, when I say parallel type, I mean the fingers right here are parallel. You can also get these two finger grippers with a toggle or angular fingers. Now, like I said, this is the most common gripper we see. It's able to get a holding force from two newtons to 210 newtons and a maximum stroke of 30 millimeters. Now, if you're needing a little bit larger of a stroke, we can always look at its horizontally oriented brother, the LEHF. Now, this gripper actually uses a belt driven system to actuate its fingers, so we're able to achieve up to an 80 millimeter stroke length. Now, if that's still not enough, we can go look on the pneumatic side at something like the MHL2. So this is an air operated wide opening gripper that can actually get a maximum stroke length of 200 millimeters, which is quite big. But a lot of times applications aren't that big. Some of them are inversely that small. So for that kind of stuff, we have the MHZ2. Now this is a micro two finger gripper, pretty much just like the LEHZ here, but on a much more miniature scale. This guy only has a four millimeter stroke. Now let's say your application involves grabbing a circular object. Two points of contact isn't gonna cut it for that. And in that instance, we could use either a three finger or a four finger gripper. And down here on the end here, I have the LEHS. This is a three finger electric actuated gripper by SMC. And I also have a three finger pneumatically operated gripper, the MHSH3. Now that kind of covers the general two and three finger grippers. But there's one more type of gripper I want to show y'all, and that's the magnetic gripper. I have a separate demo unit for that, so I'm going to go get it hooked up to compressed air, and I'll meet you over there. All right, and here we have our magnetic grippers. Now, these are also called the MHM series, the magnetic grippers. This one in front of you here is just a pretty standard one. and has an 80 Newton holding force whenever your object's about half a millimeter thick. And if it's one and a half millimeters thick, it'll boost that holding force up to 120 Newtons. So let's give it a little go right here. Do some pick and place. So no trouble picking up your standard piece of metal, a little angular piece of metal, and finally a punched out piece of metal. Now sometimes let's say your object is one and a half millimeters thick and that 120 Newton holding force may just be a little too much. You can use these rubber seals to actually space out the distance from your magnet here providing you that ability to fine tune your holding force. Because all this really is, is an air operated cylinder that's sending your magnet down to the base. And once it gets down there, it lifts, easy as that. But now that's cool and all being able to go up to 120 Newtons, but what if I need something like, I don't know, maybe 10 times bigger than that? Well, don't worry, SMC's got you covered. I'm gonna hook this bigger guy up and we're gonna take a look at him real quick. And here we have the MHM-50D1. This is the largest magnetic gripper that SMC has to offer. It has a 50 millimeter bore and is able to achieve a holding force of up to 1,000 Newtons. Same principle as the uh, magnetic gripper before, but this time we're actually gonna see our rod coming out here on the top. And I'm gonna activate it down. Oh. Sorry about that, it's actually grabbing the table beneath me and I can't budge it. I'm gonna just deactivate that. Let me find a better surface and we'll be right back. All right, so sorry about that. Probably should have checked to make sure my workplace was non-ferrous before breaking out a thousand Newton magnet. Anyways, back to this MHM magnetic gripper. We'll just see it in action a little bit. And this one would be great for a pick and place application that's just requiring a large piece of sheet metal or a really heavy metal part to be moved around. And instead of using the rubber seals, like in the previous magnetic gripper we looked at, this one actually just uses this rod to adjust the magnet's distance from the surface. 
So you can fine tune your holding force by simply rotating your knob out here. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope this was a good brief overview of SNC's grippers. Showed you all a couple different two finger models, three finger models, and even some magnetic grippers. That thousand Newton magnetic gripper is pretty fun to play around with, I have to admit. Anyways, once again, I appreciate y'all's time. And if y'all have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to help.